Hi, in a recent video I took a look at the Solace Kickstarter, which was a graphene woo-woo based infrared heater project which claimed like eight times the efficiency of regular heaters and it was just ridiculous. Anyway, that eventually got uh, shut down, so yeah, well done everyone who uh, reported that one, saved a lot of people their money. Anyway, somebody, uh, one of my viewers, Adam Alport in the comments actually posted uh, I've also found it pointless reporting project scams in deluded people to Kickstarter. Well, it's they do actually act sometimes. They eventually acted on the uh, Solace one and shut it down, but posted four other projects um, that <laughs> looks like have to do with like energy, free energy, all that sort of stuff on Kickstarter. So I thought we'd take a look at them, and this is a major problem. Like you expect maybe this on Indiegogo, which is the scammer's platform of choice, because they're <laughs> much more loosey-goosey on what they'll allow on their platform. But Kickstarter is supposed to have this reputation of being at least a bit harder to get your stuff listed on there. And we'll go into it, but let's have a look at some of these uh, projects that that are still going. There is one of them. There's only one of them that's being cancelled here. So, um, and this is was a couple of days ago when Adam reported them, and three of them are still going. One's being cancelled. Affordable household hydroelectric generator prototype. Yeah, this is just a. I. It doesn't have any video. It doesn't have anything. So yeah, no wonder they cancelled that one. But these three here are still going. Sure, they haven't raised anything. Like, this one has six backers at 55 bucks of a seven grand goal. This one here has one backer at one dollar of a 35 grand goal. And this homo electric one sounds very erotic. Um, <laughs> 1.5, 1.6 million dollar goal, and their three backers, they've raised 11 bucks. And they're reported a couple of days ago, and these are still going. So I thought we'd just have a look at these ridiculous, like, they're either like free energy over unity, or uh, like 10 times the cost reduction expected in the production of clean energy to resolve urgent global problems. And it's always the same thing. And often these people aren't scammers. They're just not deliberate scammers. They're just like free energy aficionados and they just think oh with magnets you can solve the world's problems you know energy problems and of course it's all uh <laughs> it's all bs and i've done a video debunking uh like over unity free energy type projects so this has all the physics powered electrical because it uses physics it must work okay generate a prototype and granted this one is actually a real prototype so one of the kickstarter rules is that you must have a real prototype you can't just do photorealistic renderings and sure enough this one has a real thing pattern pending i haven't looked up the pattern for this magnetic repulsion generator because it's got to use magnets yeah is designed to utilize magnetic repulsion to rotate an axle and to in turn rotate the axle of a standard electricity generator to in turn produce electricity. So it's a motor and some magnets. I, how many <laughs> videos are there on YouTube of, you know, free energy over unity magnet based things? It's just, anyway, look, but this doesn't defy the laws of physics. Note that the units are expected to operate with a 30 year lifespan as a result of a loss of energy in the system from the repulsive magnetic fields degrading over time and are not free to produce, thus do not provide, not provide perpetual motion or free energy. And as explained below, operate in a manner entirely consistent with the laws of physics. And something about buy luggage for elephants for vacation and we'll find out later anyway i won't read the whole thing i'll link it in down below if you're curious um the, the unit functions as expected does it i'm <laughs> We'll watch the video in a minute. Technical summary. Magnetic repulsion is performed by affixing permanent magnets blah, 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 to retain their directional force in a circular formation along an inner magnet holder resembling a wheel suspended in the center. Blah, blah, blah. It spins and it uses magnets. It's got to work, right? Exhaustive, t exhaustive technical disclosure. For those seeking to review exhausting technical details, including in order to verify expected cost reductions by calculating... What? Waffle, 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 waffle. The details, layered magnetic shielding used to control and direct magnetic fields to cause continuous rotation, which is missing in the aesthetic prototype. Oh, of course it's missing. <laughs>
<laughs> and, oh, provisional patent. There we go. I haven't actually looked at that one. Maybe we should actually look at the <laughs> PDF. PDF. I didn't, I didn't investigate. They, like, you just know these are, oh, look, oh, that looks, that looks legit. Oh, it's, it's his patent, is it? They've got, they've got his patent. Anyway, I'll link that in down below and you can have a look at it. And look, required funding and expenditure will cause the production properly utilized, blah, blah, blah. And there he is at the patent office. It must be legit. It's, it's got to be a founding chair, blah, blah, blah. Risks and challenges. Let's watch the video, shall we? Here we go. This is an aesthetic prototype of the magnetic repulsion generator. Nice looking prototype. There's an oh, inner 3D magnet printed. holder and an outer magnet holder. Magnets in and out. With magnets. Yep. Magnets. Arranged to provide repellent force. Yep. To cause a continuous rotation of continuous the rotation. Inner magnet holder. Yep. Show us it spinning. Uh, this is that prototype is made out of plastic, <laughs> which does not provide the necessary magnetic shielding that allows the magnets to emit fields in a single direction. Instead, the fields are emanating from the sides of the magnets, causing resistance. So, what you use uh, the mu metal if stuff however, to direct the magnetic fields? fields? Are limited I don't know. If they were limited, if if only it had worked. Uh, yeah. on the exposed face, <laughs> then the fields would push off each other. They'd push off, and it and must work. And it'll just keep rotating. This bounce back here. Woohoo! Because of the <laughs> uh, field and size of the magnet. Boring. You no get the idea. Anyway, it, uh, it limit. doesn't work. It doesn't and do anything. The inner magnet holder rotates. It rotates continuously and powers this. What? It's flapping around in here, the breeze there, the motor? Which then outputs electricity. The outputs electricity. I, it just rotates on its own and outputs electricity. Oh, it direct mains output. Oh, it's, it, oh, there you go. One, 14 days remaining. Get in now and you'll save the planet. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Oh, this one goes for a while. I don't know if I can play the full video. A very important new theory has just been born in our world. A researcher has just demonstrated the infinite that infinite energy exists. And it is the energy that keeps solid, all solid body despite its permanent vibration and despite the constraints and deformations that it undergoes. As you can see in the video, the theorician who did succeed in putting this big step forward, abundant clean energy, blah, blah, blah. This one actually, yeah, you can actually link to the patent. Here it's, um, um you'll hear him mention Amari. Amari, yeah, blah, I don't know. I think it's a French patent, is it? I don't know. I don't have any more details, but yeah, look, we've got some, I don't know, some machined rings or something that do forces. Um, I haven't looked at that video, actually, but let's look at the Kickstarter. Oh, it's got, it's got to be legit. Scientist. I'm researching in the field of renewable energies. I'm working on this topic since Renewable seven energy years. researcher renewable for seven years. Look at that. All the time. You got like a breadboard? Or what's he got? This is due to the it's got an oscilloscope the there. Provided for the transition. Uh, transition wearing a white lab coat. Of clean energy. Clean energy. But renewable energy production systems, as they are today, do not represent a real solution for our real no. problems. And this is due to many reasons, among them, the demand for better standards of living. Uh, yep, 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 yep. This stuff gets approved by Kickstarter. You've got to remember, like, somebody at Kickstarter looked at these projects and went, yeah, that looks legit. We'll approve that. Like, somebody, like a human at Kickstarter reviewed this. Like, that's it. like if you've ever done a Kickstarter, then you'll know that like it takes a few days for somebody to actually approve your Kickstarter. Somebody looked at these yes, and right approved them. Which is solid despite the permanent vibration. And permanent vibration in objects causes free energy. 
Mr. Amari wrote this paper. It's got some cool equations in there. It must work. And I like I won't bore you with the details. So few minutes, you will not be able to do that anymore. No, if you hold it out, of course you won't. We not have enough energy for this. But if you hang it on a hook like that, hang it on a hook. This one can stand it not for only for a few minutes, but for years. Years. No, the hook is not stable. The hook is vibrating Vibrate. all the time. Vibrates all the time. It's just, just getting it's just hook a motor on the bottom of that vibration as as atoms vibrate because heat. All that physics stuff. Anyway, come on. Look, clean and abundant energy. Blah, 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 blah. Gee, I haven't even looked at this one. What is this? Oh, more on more. Magnet is a four stage. The magnet. Magnets again. Shape and positioning magnets so are magic. System Free system. energy. All you need is magnets. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Somebody approved this crap. And Homo Electric. Oh, I'm very excited by the Homo Electric. Um, we are the Ecological Association for the Promotion of Bioenergy. Our internal, oh God, 100 kilowatts to 250 kilowatts, the Homo Electric kits. What do you get? I haven't even looked at the Hall of Fame. For your what do you get for your 30 bucks? Uh, uh, English attention, acknowledgements. Come on, do you get a thousand bucks? What do you get? Registration of his face and name on a T-shirt that will be appointed by a representative at an interview. What? Inaugural? <laughs> That's a, is that what you get for your thousand bucks? You get a T-shirt with your head on it or something? And they wear it at a <laughs> presentation? What? <laughs> I don't even... Thanks. In addition to all the rewards, the lower parts appear on the official schedule. What? Like, oh, is that their prototype? That's it. They meet the requirements of Kickstarter. They've got a real prototype. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a four-stage magnetic propulsion system. Look at all the coils and winding in there. It's got to work. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, big-ass big coils down in there. Ah, oh, it's just fantastic. And what's, what's this? That looks like... The Principle. Is there anything in there? Tiny Thunder. K, okay, is that what it's going to look like? I don't, like, come on, look, I'm not going <laughs> to... I don't think I should bore you <laughs> with the details, should I? The Homo Electric Generator. We can define Homo Electricity by his principle of operation, which can be detailed I as follows. I am an automatic voice. I a human reading, action, script, an effort applied to an electromechanical action, machine engages a series of perpetual magnets, who from wire out of needle will generate a constant and infinite energy. Infinite energy! Infinite energy! All you need is magnets and coils and motors! <laughs> a driving shaft which will transmit Job. it to an inspecting device of movement. Inspecting device of movement? Multiplier of movement. Multiplier! It's got to have a multiplier in there! Multiply your infinite energy! ...of transformation of the current. Transformation of the so current? to treat the current which will have been produced so that this electricity is ready with consumption. <laughs> ready with consumption? At the same time, part of the electrical current produced by the, by oh, the generator feedback. passes by an electric circuit in turns. It's going to feed back? So as to supply an asynchronous electric motor who will maintain the original movement initiated oh. by the human effort on the crank. Oh, so, so human effort on the so you crank loop it. Of perpetual motion. Closed loop, they admit it! Closed loop of perpetual motion. Did somebody, seriously, somebody at Kickstarter, did they do it? They even watch these videos. Surely they have a thing about perpetual motion and free energy, a rule, but th th they don't. We'll have a look at the rules in a minute. And, uh, like, they admitted it, 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 perpetual motion. Somebody approved this at Kickstarter. It's got three backers. One point, like, seriously, like $1.6 million dollar goal. This is the costs of construction of the power stations by... Power time. station. Ah, oh, yeah. It's like... baptized Tiny Thunder. Tiny Thunder. It is an homo electric group which functions with usual tensions and frequencies such as. 
between 50 and 60 hertz what? and 100 it, it looks like a day, day bed that you lie on nine like go on seriously i, I yeah. <laughs> come on like this is ridiculous anyway there are three projects that are still going basically free energy over unity magnets motors blah 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 or this one is like it's not free energy it's not perpetual motion it just you know it, the, the magnetic field de degrades over time so it doesn't violate the laws of physics and one's been uh cancelled out of three out of four unbelievable and look kickstarter meet the team Kickstarter have a 148 people based in Brooklyn. Half of them work with the community. Half are product design and coding. Half work with the community. So they've got like 70, 75 people working with the community. I don't know how many people looking at projects because they get so many projects. They must have dozens and dozens of people looking at these projects. But is a single one of them a competent engineer? Why can't they hire a competent engineer to look at when you get a technical Kickstarter, like, you know, sure enough about all the arty farty Kickstarters and all that, that's great. Okay, you can have like any schmuck evaluate them following a set of guidelines and rules and everything, looking for fraud and stuff like that. In fact, here's their trust and safety and analysis risk job, which is this is the job of one of the, uh, they've got one job open at the moment. You can go join them. If you're an engineer, go join Kickstarter. And then you can, they've got uh, manipulating data sets, curious about data is using in tech, analyze problems methodically. You know how to make sense of ambiguous information, form a hypothesis. Bleh, hypothesis. You are comfortable manipulating pre existing data, analyzing results. You are curious, quick learner, problem solver, excellent business judgment, communication. And like you just follow their internal rules, which are over here which projects must create something to share with others. Basically, this is the only rule that uh, these things would come under, honest and clearly presented. And some of them are. There's nothing about defining the laws of physics, perpetual motion, practicality, which is like something like the Solace Kickstarter, for example, making these like obviously absurd claims which you cannot, basic engineering claims which you cannot meet. Um, it's just silly. Any engineer can analyze um, a project like Solace or anything like this and just go, this is just a joke, right? And yet, do they have anyone? Do they have a single person there at Kickstarter? Single competent engineer? This is like first year engineering stuff you'd give to engineering students to debunk stuff like this. I am unbelievable so out of you know dozens and dozens 70 people or whatever working with the community they can't even have somebody competent enough you got to remember somebody verified these they verify and approve each and every project they looked at this homo electric one and went yeah they can if they raise their 1.6 million dollars they're going to produce these massive machines which save the planet which if you watch the video like two minutes in it says it's perpetual motion unbelievable Kickstarter. Like, you expect this crap on Indiegogo, the scammer's platform of choice, but, geez, I, you know, Kickstarter is supposed to have a better rep than this, but this stuff, and there's probably more projects than just these. These are just four of them pointed out by one of my viewers. Thank you for pointing that out. Anyway, I've ran it enough. This is ridiculous. Kickstarter. Geez, get your act together. Hire a, at least a semi-competent engineer who can evaluate these sort of projects, or have somebody on retainer who can like evaluate these projects because this is just ridiculous it's a joke and it makes your platform look like a joke anyway let me know what you think down below catch you next time